Good afternoon, Ms. Rosaline. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Rosaline, can you tell me about yourself? Ma'am, I'm Rosaline Moniz, 31 years old, married, and have four kids already, ma'am. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? Ma'am, I want to work as a maid because I want to earn money, ma'am, for my family. Okay, why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Ma'am, Malaysia is an Asian country, ma'am. How are you qualified for this job? Ma'am, I'm hardworking and trustworthy maid, ma'am. Okay, may I know what is your education level is? Ma'am, I'm a high school graduate, ma'am. What is your recent working experience? Ma'am, I'm ex abroad already, ma'am. Okay, so may I know what is your position when you work in abroad? Domestic helper, ma'am. Okay, can you make your voice louder, Miss Rosaline? Have you worked yes. abroad before? Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me what uh, what country and how many years you work for, years and months you work for? Ma'am, I work in Singapore, one year, four months, ma'am. Okay, do you Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. My baby's mom. Okay. How about elder or older people? Do you have the experience? Yes, ma'am. And who's elder you are taking care of? Oh, my employer's mother, ma'am. Okay. So how old that time? The mother of your employer? 60, ma'am. Okay. Do you have any other special skills? Mom, I'm good in cooking, cleaning the house, washing clothes, and gardening also, ma'am. Okay, are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Okay, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino dishes, ma'am, like pakbet, menudo, dinengdeng, ma'am. Okay. You also mentioned that you work also. Do you know how to work in Chinese? Miss Rosaline, you mentioned before that you have experience working in Singapore. Do you know yes, how to cook uh, in Chinese? A little, ma'am, or frying, like that, ma'am. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores like cooking, cleaning, ironing, washing, which do you like most? Cooking, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My husband, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone or cell phone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use Finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning, and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If every employer finds out that you're abusing, abusing your handphone and it's affected your work for four months, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your yes, employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years contract, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? Ma'am, I'm hardworking. I'm honest, ma'am. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will that you will work hard in Malaysia? Ma'am, I will surely finish my two, two years contract, ma'am. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Can you the 
agency. Ms. Musudin, can you answer the question? Do you really understand of the rules and regulations of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Rosaline, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you. I want you to any of your family members pass away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? Mom, I will finish my contract but my mom, when my mom asked me to go home, then thank you, mom. Okay. But for example, uh, if madam will not allow you to go back, are you all, are you insisting? No, mom. Just work, mom. Okay, can you finish your contract? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Ma'am, um, I'm Rosalind Moniz, uh, 31 years old, married, four years, four kids already, ma'am. And I want to work as a maid in Malaysia, ma'am, to earn money for my kids, for the schooling of my kids, ma'am. Okay, Miss Rosalind. What do you want to tell to your employer who watching your video? Hi, ma'am, sir. Good, good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, please select me and I want to work in Malaysia, ma'am. I will do my work and okay. I'm good. Go ahead, Rosaline. Go ahead. What do you want to tell to your employer? Ma'am, I'm, I'm an honest maid, ma'am, and I will do my work best, ma'am. Rosalind will update your agency if there's any selection made by the employer. 